Hey guys, so it's been five months since I uploaded my last video. Before this, my dad was the one doing everything, but after a year and a half, you kind of get burnt out. So I'm going to be the one taking over this YouTube channel. I'll be recording myself, editing my videos, and uploading all the videos. This video is going to be just a little bit longer since I have five months of content to be sharing with you guys. After this, I'm going to be sharing a video with you guys every Sunday, kind of like a vlog, just showing you guys what it's like to be a sporty teenage girl growing up in America. So I think the last video I posted was the Captain America ones, but before that it was the very first game in the Utah girls tackle football season. We had won that game, and the rest of the season my team, the Black Diamonds, went undefeated and we won our championship game against the Red Dynamite. That season went great, everybody had a ton of fun, and I'm super excited for it to start again next spring. After that, my team, Utah Avalanche, went to Skate Cup, which is pretty much the tournament of all tournaments. It's pretty much to declare who's the best in Utah, and if you win that, you're gonna go on to regionals, and then from regionals to nationals. So my team made it to the semifinals and we beat Sparta, one of our rivals, in PKs, which was just the best feeling ever. But after that, unfortunately, we lost to La Roca in overtime 1-0 in the championship. Since everybody was going to different teams, I was going to a different team as well. So I decided to play for a club called the USA. It's Utah Soccer Alliance. And I was going to play a year up, so it will be super competitive. Staying on the soccer theme, I also went to BYU soccer camp during the summer. It's this super fun three to four day camp that you just go and play soccer pretty much the entire time. You get to train with the BYU players, get to talk to the BYU coach, get to learn a lot more about soccer, get experience playing other players, and it's just a blast. With my videos, my YouTube channel partner is Maker Studios, a Disney company. So, I went to VidCon over at Disneyland and spoke at the Maker Studios booth. And while I was there, I got to meet up with some of my old friends, like the Kid Toy Testers, and just have a blast exploring VidCon. It was super fun. When I was there, I also met Swoozy, who's a super cool YouTuber. You guys should check him out. He's one of my favorites. So, VidCon was in Southern California, but I went back to California, Northern California, for a soccer tournament in San Francisco with my new soccer team. We got first place there, woo -woo, and we also got a tour, St. Mary's College. During the summer, I was begging my dad to go camping, and he didn't want to go camping, so we compromised and we decided to go glamping. Glamping is pretty much camping, but you're not in a tent, you're in a wagon with bunk beds and, you know, floors and grass everywhere instead of dirt and a little restaurant up the hill. Then we also went hiking up to this glacier lake. I forget what it's called, but it was a little bit cold there and we did a rope swing there. So if you guys haven't known this, I have braces again. I had already had braces, but it wasn't enough. So now I have it on my top and bottom teeth. After school started, I got to cut out of school and take a trip up to Portland to speak at the Nike Maxim Awards and interview Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is the best receiver ever to play football. And listen to what he had to say about me. I think you might be a little too fast for me. I mean, I'm pretty fast, so... <laughs> Okay, I, I'm not, hey, I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> Everything in my summer was going perfectly until the rivalry, whoa, rivalry game. <laughs> so everything in my summer, okay, now I'm getting all tongue-tied. Tied, I can't even say tongue-tied. All right, it was BYU versus Utah going head-to-head -head at Utah. So I was one of the odd ones out cheering for BYU. It got really intense and heated. I bet my dad was about to get punched. And I have a funny picture to show you guys about him arguing with a Utah fan and me just looking really disappointed in him because he likes to get in arguments. But it was an unfortunate ending to that game. BYU lost by one point. Who knows if we should have gone for two. 
I think we it was a good decision to go for two. I don't know, but it was disappointing. A lot of grieving. I needed my ice cream after that game. So that's a lot about my summer. I'll make sure to keep you guys posted every Sunday as long as you make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Signature Smile.